I was not even hungry before this started. Now I've seen this and I am. Now is a great time to head out to your local farmer's market and check out all the great produce in season. Here to show us what you'll find right now is Frank Ginzali from Frank's Quality Produce. You're in the market. Yep, Pipe Place Market. it's amazing because you can not only advise us, but you can talk to us about what to cook and the exactly. whole thing, yep. which Perfect. is great yep. fun. What is in season right now? And can we please start with those cherries? They look so yeah, good. Yeah, they're, they're beautiful. I mean, this is like the uh, Washington Farmer's you know, Super Bowl. Right, you know, exactly. They're waking up in the morning when the sun <laughs> comes up and they eat a little dinner. When the sun goes down, they start it and do it all over again the next day because there's just so much great product out there. And cherries are, are one of them. We're in the peak of the cherry season right now. And um, they're big and crisp and sweet, and they're you just beautiful. can't go wrong. They're everywhere. All Let's farmers talk about market. some of the varieties. Well, this is the Rainier variety. Mm -hmm. um, it's got that little blush to it, real sweet, a little different taste than the uh, the Bing variety. Um, there's a bunch of different red cherries out there, and they kind of progress through the seasons. The Lappins and uh, Bing and, and different varieties and. And so there's just a few out there, and but they're all just they're wonderful. They are, and it's great to just cook with a blend of them. Yeah, you don't have to choose or just any. Put them in a bowl one, for appetizer while people come over for a barbecue. Uh, yes, those as you're having things. a glass of prosecco. Okay, yes. what else do we have here? Melons. Um, melons are coming into the season now. We have the, this is a lemon drop. This Charlin melon is my favorite. It's got a little white flesh on oh. it. It's, it's just it's really sweet, always super juicy. This and one. Yes, yes, Charlin melon. It's really really nice. Looks beautiful. Like so that is beautiful. Yep. Those are really good. Alrighty, what about this guy? And this is lemon drop. Um, it does have a little bit of a hint of lemon to it, but really? um, yeah, they're they're more of a crisp little melon, but they're they're really they're really flavorful. And then here's a seedless watermelon. Yeah, right? I put a little piece out here because it's you know watermelon season, June and August, the sun's out. You always got to have bar, you know watermelon at your barbecue yep. for the kids and and for the adults too. We should of course. repost. We did a watermelon recipe with um, a cookbook author about ten days ago that was amazing. So we'll put that on the on the website and people can yeah. shop for watermelon at the for same sure. time. Here's our green leafies that yeah, we were just I mean, talking about. Yeah, it's you know there's just I didn't put too many vegetables out, but um, you know there's all kinds of lettuce and arugula and you know we've got some local basil mm -hmm. and all okay. kinds of different leafy greens that are out there that are are coming from your farmers markets and and especially from like Carpenter Brothers down in uh, the the Kent Valley. It's just, you know, really good time of year for that. We love to support all of that. While we're yeah. talking about veggies, what do we have over here? Um, these are a uh, little organic farmer in Chehalis, New Walken Valley Farms. They grow all these little baby vegetables for us. They're <laughs> patty pans so and zucchinis and <laughs> and uh, you know, they're really great. You can actually eat some of them raw or you can just saute them real quick. You can just throw them in oil and put them on the grill real fast yes. and just serve them in a big bowl with uh, you know, just a little bit of olive oil and, and it's good to go. And that's all you have to do. What are these white beans? Those are uh, yellow wax beans. Mm -hmm. um, those are also, all this is grown locally. There's the yellow wax. These are uh, Romano beans and they're just kind of a little flat variety. Great with yeah, a, little a little bit bigger. of um, pancetta and uh, beans is just, it's really great oh right there. Oh my goodness. All right, let's talk about these beautiful fruits. These are all very good, kind of low in sugar, very healthy, lots yeah, of fiber. Yeah, super healthy right now. I mean, just blueberries right now are, I mean, the peak of the best blueberries you can get. Washington grown, obviously, and they're big and crispy and sweet, and you just can throw a you know, a bowl with a little bit of yogurt and just have that for breakfast right. anytime. They're just wonderful. It's a good time right now since they are at their peak to just buy a whole bunch and freeze them. Yeah, for sure. And um, just look around, you'll find some, I mean, some of them are like quarter size and you just freeze them, uh, freeze them on like a cookie sheet and then throw them in a bag later so that it's not just a big clump of blueberries right. when you go to grab them in the winter time. And you can enjoy them all year long. Tell us about these. Those are currants. Uh, those are grown in the Puyallup Valley. Red, white, and blue. Red, white, and well, well black. Well, sort of blue. Left, but, um, <laughs> I'm going to call it blue. They should come out with the blue one. I think that would sell. <laughs> but um, yeah, they're, they're currants, and they're, they're they're very sweet. They're a good little treat. Um, you can cook with them. You can puree them. Use them and make little sauces for like uh, fresh oysters, and whatnot. And those, mm. you know, for Washington, that's that's a perfect thing to use. I could smell this tomato like 10 feet yep. away. Yeah, tomatoes are coming on right now. It's, um, you know, caprese salad season. You know, it's like everybody's doing it We're every ready. night almost. It's just perfect time. 
All right, peaches. I love peaches. People like to cook with them. Also something we can slice and freeze if we want to. Tell us about the different varieties. Yeah, uh, this is uh, all the stone fruit now is coming from Washington. The peaches are, are just coming in. Fresh nectarines. We have the donut peaches. These are a little uh, like a plum apricot combination. Mm -hmm. We got just black plum right here. There's just there's more varieties out there too. I just couldn't fit it on here, but there's it's just that time of year, you know. I mean, you can take the peaches and throw them on the grill real fast, and just serve those with a little bit of ice cream, you know, for yeah. dessert. And it's just everything's so fresh and flavorful. It's just the best half, time of year. Put them down a little butter on them. Now tell yeah. us. A, a about the donut peaches. Donut peaches is just a variety of peach. Um, they're white flesh on the inside, and it's just kind of a fun little snack you could have. You can just throw it in your bag. Usually they're a little bit more firm and crispy. You can eat them that way and they're sweet, or you can wait till they get really soft and eat them that way. And they're just, it's just a great little peach. Are they as sweet as, a, as we expect a normal peach to be? Not normal, but you know, the more average peach. Um, I mean, they have a little bit different flavor. Everything's like the peak of whatever the variety is yeah. flavor. So it's hard to compare whether one's better than the other. It's more personal preference. I really love just regular peaches myself. And, me too, me yeah. too. And the plum is sort of something we forget about because it's not always there, but it's an amazingly good fruit. It is, it's, it's a great fruit. I, I eat them all the time. I usually slice them and just have a little few uh, varieties out on the counter. I have three kids, so they just eat them up. That's very good. What are these guys over here? Oh, these are uh, Washington apricots. Um, they're just, this is kind of the peak of them. They're going to start tailing off now mm -hmm. a little bit. But um, if you can find these now, and, and this is what you, when you want to buy an apricot, sometimes you get some from, that aren't from Washington. They just don't have the, the powerful flavor that these and ones do. And we want do. to support our local farmers. So right now for the apricots, oh, yeah. and obviously the corn, we can grill corn it. Corn is grown Love locally. It. Uh, it's you know the perfect time of year. Like yeah. I said, you can you could take everything here. You don't even have to cook in your kitchen. Everything goes on the grill, and you can just have a great barbecue with anything here. It makes me very happy. Thank you very yes. much, and thank you for the You're good welcome. cooking suggestions as well. So a unique enrichment cruise aimed at helping you discover what makes you happy and how to achieve what you really want in life is our subject after this. Thank you.